is Sister Tuckfield. For those of you who don't know me, you might know my parents, Mike and Katrina Tuckfield. Um, they work at Monument Valley High School. Um, and I am their daughter, who is currently serving in the Indonesia Jakarta Mission, um, which is fantastic. I've been asked to share a little bit about my mission and to bear my testimony to you all. Um, serving a mission, especially here in Indonesia, is amazing. Um, the people here are amazing. The food here is amazing. The scenery, the <coughs> place is just full of amazingness. <laughs> and the work here is amazing. Um, meeting people, loving them, helping them in their lives, helping them with whatever they need in their lives is amazing. Um, and it's also hard. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Missionary work is hard. Um, like anything else in life, there's challenges, there's things that we have to overcome, but in the end, it's all worth it. And in the end, it's all worth it because of who we become, of what we do, of our faith that grows stronger. Um, and that's the same with missionary work. It's hard, but in the end, we do what we need to do. We help the people that we need to help, and we become who Heavenly Father wants us to become. I know this work is, is a work of miracles. Um, I know that there are people out there waiting to hear this word, and Heavenly Father is just waiting for us to listen to him, to do what he wants us to do, and to guide us to them, to help, uh, help them help themselves. Um, I know that as we, we all work together to uh, move this work forward, to do what Heavenly Father wants us to do, we can see those miracles in the lives of other people and in our own lives. Um, I know that through all the struggles, through all the tears, through all the um, hurt feet, all the broken bikes, um, in the end it's happiness and this joy of this restored gospel this eternal salvation that we are offering people. And I know that if you are thinking about going on a mission, um, if you're wondering what you should do with the next little bit of your life, do a mission. Because it will help you and it will help other people. And you will definitely grow closer to your Savior, closer to your Heavenly Father. And I know that this church is true. I know that um, as we do everything that we can, um, we will be blessed. I hope you all got a little something from what I said today. Um, and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> My name is Sister Jose and I'm serving out here in the Idaho Pocatello Mission. One thing we like to recite each morning as missionaries comes from the Book of Mormon. It is 3 Nephi chapter 5 verse 13 and it says, Behold, I am a disciple of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I have been called of Him to declare His word among His people that they might have everlasting life. That has happened to become one of my favorite scriptures while serving out here in the mission field. Because first off, it talks about how each and every one of us are disciples of our Savior Jesus Christ and how we can go out and declare His word. Secondly, it encourages us to be able to go out and find those who could one day become disciples of their Savior Jesus Christ as well. The minute we enter into the waters of baptism, we are committed to the work. I know that each and every one of us have a reason. We all have a purpose here on this earth, and it is to be able to help gather scattered Israel. There is a section in Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 18, verse 10, and it says, Remember, the worth of souls is great in the sight of God. And each and every one of his children here upon this earth need to know that they have a loving Heavenly Father who loves them so much and wants them, him, them to return back home to Him. I know that serving a mission is the best thing that I could have ever done in my entire life and I wouldn't have it any other way. So I want to encourage each and every one of you who are preparing yourself to serve a mission to continue to remain worthy and stay worthy. Do all that you can to be able to help gather scattered Israel. Go and I once was told by someone very important who said, surround yourself by those who are on the same mission as you. And I know that as we continue to surround ourselves with members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we can all go out and we can conquer the world. We can bring Israel home. In the Bible, Jesus Christ tells his disciples, especially Peter, to go out and feed his sheep. And that is what we do as missionaries. We go out and proclaim the love of God that he has for each and every one of his children here upon this earth. President Russell Nelson stated in a talk once that 
We are the chosen generation. We are his finest players. As we continue to play in this field, which we call the world, to be able to go out and find those lost sheep and return them back home to the fold, he will be able to be happy with us. And we will also be able to receive the blessings. And we can also help those receive the blessings that are in store for them as well. I know this to be true deep in my heart because I have seen the gospel change many lives. It has changed my life. It has changed my family's life. And I have the front row seat to be able to watch those come closer to Christ. It is the best feeling in this entire world. Heavenly Father needs you. We need you. Scattered Israel needs you. Help bring them home. Go out and prepare yourself to be able to be a worthy missionary. I just want to bear my testimony because I know these things to be true deep in my heart. And I humbly say these things in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye. Hey, so I know that God is our loving Heavenly Father. He loves all of us so much. I know that because He loves us so much, He sent us His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who suffered all things and who died for us so that we can improve ourselves, so that we can gain strength through His sacrifice. I know that we all can come closer to them by by praying and by bearing our testimonies, much like I am doing to you now. Um, one thing that I have enjoyed so much on my mission is having that opportunity to bear my testimony every day. Uh, one thing that we're taught is that, you know, that a testimony shared is a testimony gained. Um, one, one of the many, many things that I do have a testimony in is that the Book of Mormon is the true Word of God that it is one of the most important tools that a missionary has to help people feel the Spirit and to help them feel the love that God has for them. I know that for all of you who may be uh, sitting on the fence or, or be hesitant, hesitating to come on a mission, the only thing I can tell you to do is to just do it. It will help you so much. Um, at times you may feel like you aren't prepared enough, or at times you may feel like like you aren't good enough. Just get rid of those thoughts. Just think to yourself that Heavenly Father loves you and has given you the opportunity and the gift to serve. And that's one of the greatest gifts we have in this church, is service. Um, throughout my entire life, I have all, I've been born and raised in the church, and I have always been taught that God loves us and that we have been so blessed with, with his word and with his love. And what better way to show your appreciation for that gift than to share it? I do know that this is the one true church on church on earth and that through Heavenly Father Jesus Christ we can come closer as a family. We can we can know the truth of all things. worth it because of who we become of what we do we can all go out and we can conquer the world we can bring Israel home Heavenly Father loves you and has given you the opportunity and the gift to serve